tell you, I love these stores. For the selling toys, collectibles, action figures, plushies. I never buy anything now because, you know, I'm into the minimalist lifestyle, but I can't help but just be, I don't know, turn into a kid every time I see one of these. I just have to come in and check it out. Oh, I want the boo. Such a simple character, but I love him. He's so awesome. Don't need it. Don't need it. I don't need it. These toys are so awesome. Oh, check out the Batman jacket. That's cool. Dude, that would love that. I'm not going to show her though because I know she's going to... Oh my goodness, check out the size of that pop. This Batman Funko Pop is like five times bigger than these other ones. So cool. All right, today we're going to be checking out a Korean grocery store. Um, what's the difference between a Korean grocery store and, they say, a typical Asian grocery store? Well, there's a lot more Korean stuff. Let's see what I mean here. I mean, look at this. This whole section, Korean pears. Korean pears are the bomb. I'm telling you all right now, if you guys never had a Korean pear, you need to go to a Korean grocery store and buy one. They are not cheap. Probably one of the most expensive fruits out there. But they're so delicious. They're kind of like halfway point between a American pear and an apple. The crunchiness of an apple, the sweetness of a pear. Mmm. Wow, I didn't know they like jalapenos here in, uh, in Korea. Uh, I already have fresh pepper. Did you like the uh, Oppo squash that I bought for uh, soup? Yeah. All right, let's get more. We don't normally eat squash, but winter time, it's actually quite delicious. You mix it into like uh, bone soup. Very healthy. That's why John Lee is so healthy, is I eat bone soup. All right, we gotta try all these Korean snacks for sure. Turtle chips, baby, my favorite. I love turtles. You gotta try turtles. And I love seaweed BTS. flavor. Why the f are you buying BTS? What the hell are those? those Anti-period pills. <laughs> what the? Uh, Anti-depression. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They do cure depression. They make you happy. Yes. Oh my God! Look at how many, baby. Look at all these different flavors. Okay. Um, half a puff black bean rice. Oh, this. Okay. No, no. What the f is that? No okay. Try. All right, we'll try. Um. Ooh, we never tried this before, baby. What's this? That's interesting. Honey butter chips. Koreans have come up with some crazy stuff, man. I'm telling you. All right, all right. So far, okay, we got a good mix. Oh, you know what? I, I do. I said do a walk around. Let's check out the groceries here. This is a pretty good sized Korean grocery store. Really good size. Let's see. We already have a lot of good vegetables, so I'm not so sure we need to buy much more. Oh, these are one of my favorites. Um, Korean style. Chinese style. I don't think there's any real difference. Um, nuts and flaxseed. I love this. I'm gonna. What's kind? Pumpkin seed kind. Cranberry style. Oh, I never tried cranberry style. Cranberry style, huh? Let's try it. Cranberry style. A banana. Oh, what do I see? <laughs> more, more chips. Okay, what else they got? 
You know, I think turtle chips is just the name of their brand because they have so many kinds of turtle chips. It's not really actually turtle flavored. Like this one here. Huh? Churro flavored. Are you kidding me? This, oh my God, this is awesome. Jolly Pong, what's this? Cereal snack. Okay, I'll try that too. Oh, oh, oh shh. Look at this, baby. Pepper chips. It looks like chips made with jalapeno and beef flavored or something inside. Are you kidding me? That's sick. This. I love this grocery store now. What's this? I've never seen this before either. This looks like buttered potato. It's not really clear what flavor it is though. No English, which makes it hard for me to know if it's yummy. I'm sure it is yummy. Okay, get one. Oh, these look like bugles. Okay, I think we had enough chips here, baby, to destroy multiple diets. Soju. Um, I don't drink no more, so... I mean, you're welcome to buy some. We could try it. I just said. Peach. I want to try peach. For, uh, like, we have guests over, but I don't drink. So, if you want to try, like, a peach flavor, a cherry flavor, grapefruit, go for it. Oh, mango. Mango. No. What do I care, baby? Go for it. You want to be a drunk wife? Go ahead. Drown your sorrows of marrying John Lee. Hovenia tea? What is Hovenia? I gotta try. We gotta try this one, baby. We got a whole section here on kimchi. You know there's a Korean grocery store because they got a kimchi like in a gallon container. Jeez, oh freaking money. That's a lot of kimchi. Fish market here, um, smaller than a typical fish market, like in a Chinese grocery store, but they got some interesting stuff here, like they got mackerel. I never realized that's what mackerel looked like, the skin of a mackerel. That's beautiful. And then they got a belt fish. I've never heard of a belt fish. It kind of looks like an eel. Very thin though. All the rest of the fish, pretty standard, pretty standard. You know what I want to get? Korean dumplings. Those are always yummy. Korean what? Korean dumplings. They have different kind of flavors. Mm. Otherwise known as mandu. Mandu is like Korean dumplings. Um, pork and vegetable. How about... Yeah, I like this. I like the look of that. We got kimchi and pork, pork and veg with mini wonton. Okay, let's try this kind. Never had this kind before. Let's do it. Ooh, this is what I like. I've been looking for this. Roasted sesame. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Thought it was, but it's not. Let's see 
what else they got here. All these kind of saucy ones. Actually, we do need some more noodles at home. I need, like, these kind of noodles I like, but holy crap, that's a lot of effing noodles. I guess it'll last me five years, so I'm not going to buy that. There must be a version that's it's a lot less. Let me see here. Mm, not seen it. I might just go to a Chinese grocery store for that solution. Ah, yes, yes, yes. This is what I've been looking for. I've always wanted to like, make Korean style stew at home, but I don't have the ingredients. This is what it is. It's like in little containers. Like the seafood that's, one? That's right. So in other words, all you gotta do is just use this and it recreates the taste. So now's the problem of, I don't know which is what, because I'm not Korean. Um, so I don't know which one tastes good, but I guess we'll just pick one. Um, this is hot on it. This is very hot. I feel like I need to start off with mild. Maybe we start with mild because we can always add more spicy later. And um, later on, if we find that we like this brand, we'll get the hotter version. How does that sound? Sounds good. This is how much Koreans love. Whoa. You can buy it in this size. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That might be a little too much for us. There's only two of us. But this is very simple, right? Like next time you even want to make Chinese hot pot, you make one side, it's Korean style. Uh -huh. You throw in fresh tofu, fresh seafood, and then, mmm. Oh, there's another kind over here. I don't know what this is. Um, this looks different. This is called samja. What's the difference? I don't know. And oh, you know what the samja is? Samja is if you're eating Korean barbecue, you kind of like dip your meat into it. It's that kind of thing. It's quite delicious too. All right, what else they got here? There's a bunch of sauces, seaweed soup. I am looking for like a like a miso style dressing or a sesame style dressing. Japanese miso dressing, you like that one? Like a Japanese like see, uh, sushi places, they put it on this salad, like that style. Let's do it. What's this? No, baby, you cannot have enough snack. Baby, want to try this? This looks like a kind of like a, a popcorn kind of snack. But it's a Korean popcorn. I don't. I don't know. It's it's corn, so it's not bad for you. This one's called tube shaped cracker. It's very um, oh, matter of factly. Oh my gosh! I feel like this is just puffed rice. It is puffed rice. Okay, but this literally has no flavor in it. It has no like sugar or anything. Actually, does this even have sugar in it? Like, is this like? I'm picturing this is like kettle corn. Yeah, oh I, baby, I think this is like kettle corn. Korean style kettle corn. You want to buy one? Okay, let's buy one. We literally just have a cart full of snacks. Oh, shoot! Now I'm really lost on what what to get. This is definitely Korean grocery store. This there's uh, there's Yongjang, and then there's this kind. Oh man. I don't, I don't, I mean, they're all made from soybean. So it's a variant of soybean. They're all fermented. But what's the taste difference? I don't know. Don't know. Well, 
This place is huge. I have a whole section back here that I even know existed. Just more frozen stuff. Instant noodles. We have enough instant noodles at home. Not gonna buy anymore. Bagged rice. Truly an Asian grocery store when you have a whole section for brown. Huh? Bagged rice. This side here is a house of goods, knick and knacks. The Dutch favorite section. Mm. What is this? Oh, uh, this is if you got a hard ass seat, you put this on, makes your butt feel nicer. Nice touch. Ah, this is every Asian grandma hat blocks out sun from a 360 view. <laughs> I look like someone who is out harvesting honey in a bee colony. There's so much good stuff here. I, I love this store. So much good stuff. Actually, this is pretty neat. Uh, Korean people love their barbecue, so they actually have a whole section here for the clay pots that you make bit and bop and gas to light your portable fire. They actually do have a place here for uh, fresh kimchi, seasoned squid, chicken wing. Whoa. Nice, nice, nice. Sure, some shredded squid. Cucumber salad. This is June. This is what I wanted actually for lunch, but I didn't see it. So uh, June is like a, so this is pollock filled pancakes. So it's egg, fish, uh, some pickled radish inside. I feel like I want to buy one and have it for dinner. Maybe I will. I'll buy one so we can have it for dinner. So one thing I love about Korean dishes is they got something called yam noodles. It's like noodles but no carb because it's made from yam. So like this here, shirataki. I'm gonna get one shirataki. It's really good on its own uh, with like noodle soup, uh, hot pot. Their fish cakes, very Asians of it, left and right. Mm -hmm. Which we have a lot at home, so I'm not gonna buy any. Ooh, you know, I've always wanted to try these little sausages. Coarse sausage made of pork. I've got 15 bucks. I feel like this is. Very expensive. But I'm willing to bet they taste so delicious grilled. No, they have a smaller version, so maybe I'll buy a smaller one. 
Alright, I'll buy a smaller one. I'll try it grilled. And I'll let you guys know how it tastes.